Namaste, beautiful divine Aries. This is Tough Newt Light with your monthly June 2015 forecast. Thank you for your beautiful patience. We had Mercury in retrograde. We still have a few more days left in it, but we are almost through to the next gateway. 11 activation on June 11th. We're going forward in Mercury. Going direct in Gemini, thank goodness. All right, so let's get on to your reading. I'm sending you love and light from the jungle in Bad Bali. I'm going to start with the Divine Angels this month again. With a divine, beautiful, energetic, amazing tarot card, which represents the whole month of June in the theme, but also the beginning. So let's see what's in store for you, beautiful Divine Aries, the first sign of the Zodiac. So... This is the card that wants to come up for you. And this is about the seven of action. And you are the action planet. You are ruled by Mars. And Gemini is currently in your sign. Very, very interesting. In your planet of Mars. So, and this is an interesting girl. She's dressed in red. She has the ball. She's ready to throw it. And this is what happens. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you strength to say no when it's right, right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. So Mercury could be taking you for a twist this month for a little bit. And you want to do some action. And you're like wanting to defend yourself, wanting to defend your purpose. But I feel like it's about coming into personal power. And not feeling like you have to defend yourself all the time, because sometimes that can happen. So connecting to both parts of yourself, the feminine and the masculine. And so to say, there's this big opening. So there's a small snowball you have in your hand. Actually, there's a bigger picture behind you. So taking the action and seeing what that's all about. Because your personal power is coming into play now. And you are all about impersonal empowerment and empowering others, living in your strength with that Mars energy. So Gemini is going to help you balance out both of those sides, which has to do with communication. So if you're feeling a bit frustrated with communication right now with others, don't throw the snowball at them. Give the space and give the time, and the action will happen at the divine right timing for you. Trust that energy and coming close to you, because I really want you to see this energy. So feel that energy. Feel you are empowered. You don't have to communicate everything to everyone and tell them where it's at all the time. You need to know yourself first, and then you can shine your light, and then you can empower others, that peace that you will gain from this insight. Let's go on to the goddesses, because you are a beautiful god and goddess, and you have both energies, but this is going to be this big opening through the space, so taking your time. The time will come, and you have the strength to have time and patience for yourself. And this could have to do with the Mercury retrograde, because we are in that energy, so claim your personal power first, and by empowering yourself, it's actually taking a step back and feeling that you are in divine control of your situation and where you are right now. And also, you don't need to move forward with that jumping energy. You can take the space for yourself because you can empower yourself by saying no first and not jumping with a reaction. So don't be so reactive this month if possible. You are a beautiful sign and we need your energy, but you need to do it at the right time for yourself and for others. So take note for yourself and take the space you need. As you have your ideas there and your ideas will be thrown into the universe at the divine and right timing and the universe is backing you. So don't worry about that. You could have a lot of thoughts going on in your head right now about what the actions want, how you want to make it happen. Just take the space because it will happen. All right, this is the card that wants to come up. Ooh, very nice. Sacred space with Natona. Create an altar or visit a personal power place to connect with the divine. I feel it's about connecting to your divine power, remembering something, lighting all the candles, and seeing within the darkness there is light. And this is so nice. There's a cross right here. So you're in a crossroads in your life right now. And you're feeling a divine essence and remembering something that's very ancient of yourself and very sacred. And I feel like this has to do with this action plan. But first, come into the power of yourself. And this woman could be showing the light through the darkness. 
and I feel this is like an altar space or a tablet or it could have to do with how you passed away a long time ago and there's sort of say this illumination through the inner death through the rebirth physical rebirth here on this earth why you're here what you're meant to do you're shining your light you're shining the stars into this energy into this universe into this world that is so beautiful so create a sacred space for yourself go into nature go in a cave and light candles if you want to get really like down and dirty and deep with this energy and i mean it in a really beautiful essence of purity and light light the candles light all the candles illuminate everything within in your being too so you can use that and fuse that and bring that onto the world in the right timing. There's something within you that needs to be illuminated. You need to light all the candles first so you can align that project, align the action with the right alignment so it can go direct in the right timing. I know you know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go into the angels now. What the angels want to say to you. But this is a very powerful card for you. I want you to take note on this energy, what comes up for you right now with this present time. It is about you connecting to divine you and feeling that soul, remembering all the things you need to remember. It could be past lives and really feeling that. There's many. There's more than one past life. So take note on that aspect. Go inside. It's about going inside this Mercury retrograde. It's a really beautiful healing space. How you communicate. How you used to communicate. How you write to yourself. How you write to others. How you want to write that divine book. Could be a beautiful prophecy for the world to hear. So let that and give it space. It's going to come into play, going to come into action. The right and beautiful divine timing. You are here for a reason on this beautiful divine plane of earth. And share, share your light and your wisdom. Illuminate something for yourself and illuminate something for others. The truth is always there for you. And you know your truth. And we know that from you. All right, beautiful one. Let's see what the angels want to say to you. Okay, this is the card. Akashic Records, beautiful. Akasha, the angel. And you are opening up that gateway, which is really nice because on the 11th, there's that activation. <clears throat> you're speaking your truth. You're working on your throat chakra. You're a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine mission. You are a divine teacher, and they want you to remember that in any aspect, whether it be a physical aspect, whether it be teaching yoga, whether it be writing a book, whether it be remembering something of your life for yourself. You are your own divine teacher and own counselor. And you could be help you, someone could be helping you on this path at this time, opening your wings, spreading your light, spreading your light, seeing the divine path that you're walking on. You're here for a reason. You're here to share others that knowledge and share that knowledge when the right divine timing comes. I want to activate one card for you with this divine energy with the Gateway Oracle. That is beautiful. There's a very sacredness you're starting to remember of the exactness of your soul. The depths of your soul are coming up for illumination. I want you to take good care of yourself when you're going through this activation. It's very important. We need you right now. And you could be communicating more of this energy. I'm really feeling, especially with Gemini and Mars right now. dualistic nature and it's coming the action and the non-action physical and the non-physical the spiritual and the physical and the emotional it's all coming together and divinely connecting into one being that you are and it's here for you so get into your body this month especially get grounded with this amazing spiritual activation that's happening all right what is that <laughs> i think it's a snail jumping oh well <laughs> All right, divine records, divine gateway. Open up for the beautiful sign of Aries. What do you need to let them know? With this divine timing, this divine activation, this divine illumination. Wow, flying free. You see that bird? It's looking over past things, these mountains. My stomach's like, whoa, doing something right now as I'm looking at this picture. That's very powerful. You could be going to see the world, flying free as a bird, a being on a bird. This is a woman too, or a man. 
And Virgo actually had a very similar reading card. It was about being empowered. This is also about being empowered. Um, there's a lot of birds there flying free. I, I unfurly, I unfurly my wings and I fly. You are flying very high. This is amazing. Mercury goes direct. You could be going somewhere physically on a trip, or you could be remembering that it's a peace dove. So connect to the peace dove, so you can spread your messages to the world. Writing books expressing, flying free, flying high, seeing what you want to see, expanding your wings, expanding your consciousness, expanding your life. Look at the aspects for yourself, what you truly want. It is all there in all divine timing. It will all come together so you can share your message with the world. A lot of messages coming through. The clouds are going to clear. The ocean is there. The grounds are there. So you have all the elements, air, earth, fire and water and spirit. You're connecting every aspect and you're illuminating every aspect of yourself at this current time, lighting all the candles in the dark and there comes the light. There comes remembrance. Remember who you are and fly freely throughout the world and through the universe at this current and present time into your future. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light from the beautiful Bali. If you would like a personal reading, email me below at tefnut.light at gmail.com. And I'm here for you, beautiful Aries, for your reading and for your activation and for your angel Reiki healing if you'd like to sign up for a session. Namaste, love and light, divine being, beautiful, freely, wings of peaceful dove energy. Namaste. Fly.